office is office there's an office of a father there's an office of a priest you can't contain it if they curse you you are cursed noah was a drunk he drank from his drunken state he cursed his son who mocked him did the curse stand did he stand now he blessed did the blessing stand did the blessing say no the man that is blessing drank alcohol did he did the curse say no i cannot hook this guy because he's he's, he's drunk what did the curse and the blessing respond to they responded to his office i don't know if you understand if a police officer whether he's a drunk guy whether he drove his wife if he stops you with his uniform will you stop no you run him down you will know that it's a federal government now apart from father children father son father daughter in your culture there's what they call fishing season those of you from the river Rhine area there's a fishing season right now when that season is over the harvest what they do they carry the biggest fish is that not so and they take it to the idols right and they, they, they offer it as a sacrifice why because they want the spirits to bless them for the next fishing season same thing with farmers those of you from the village like myself when you're, you're, there's a harvest what do you do they carry the yam they take it to the idol the, the, what they give to the idol the best the smallest what they give what they give what they give now what they use the best to attract someone said the blessing now this these pagan communities they have revelation and that's what the holy spirit will teach you when the holy spirit wants to take you to prosperity as you pray in tongues he will be directing you to the word of god look at proverbs 3 7 they say honor the lord with the first fruit and he will cause your pants to overflow hello i am didi and i'm here to talk to you about a program called olive season which i coordinate by the grace of god is a program that holds every third saturday of the month inspired by the holy spirit Hosted by my pastor, Dr. Anthony Oko. What is Olive Season all about, you might ask? Olive Season is a program where we fervently pray for couples who have been trusting God for fruit of the womb. Have you been married for several years and you don't have a child yet? You might have been to many places, visited so many churches, been to hospitals and all that. We know there are so many causes of infertility. We are not interested in that. We are only interested in the power of God, which is always at work at every edition of Olive Season. So many women have been blessed through this program. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Mrs. John Blessing. I got married uh, December 2016. And since then, we've been looking on to God. But you know, I do. So many ministers have laid hands and prayed, but to no avail. So one faithful day when I was on Facebook, I happened to, let me say I was lucky to see uh, this program. I said, wow, I'm a kind of person, I don't really like going to churches, that's why it's my condition. But that day my spirit was troubling me that ah, you must go, you must go. So I, with the Saturday morning, I, by faith, I came and daddy located me with prophecy and she told and he told me exactly uh, what is wrong with me and how the, prob uh, the problem came up and he prayed with me he prayed with me that March it was March 23rd so in that same March we are saying in that same March God answered my prayer as many women that are coming the better mothers I really want to advise you, if you are coming, just believe in God and believe that there is God here. When I mean God, I mean the God, the true God himself is in this place. The Spirit of God is working here. Just believe, believe in the anointing of the prophet and the way I receive my own, surely you will surely receive your own. Through Facebook you came? Yes, sir. Three years you were married? Yes. Was it the month we pray with you? You got pregnant? Yes. Same month. Wow. Give a lot of people. Your face will not be different. Why don't you take that step of faith? You may have gone to so many places, 
Don't say you are tired. This is a new year, another opportunity, and God is waiting to bless you. God is waiting to give you that desire of your heart. I'm using this opportunity to invite you for the next edition of Olive Season. The Bible tells us that none shall be barren in the land. It's not God's desire that you be barren. It's not God's desire that their family will be without children. I want you to come. Tell all that about this program. You have neighbors, friends, relatives who don't have a child. Couples who have been married for so many years without a child. I want you to invite them. Let them come. God bless you.